Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Latwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to determine whether the input character is lower case or upper case. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace io stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file then we will write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section i am going to declare char ch ch is a variable of type character then i'll write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen and this statement is to be written after declaring all the variables so this is optional if you want to write you can write otherwise you can leave it next i'm going to Ask the user to enter the character using cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. I'm going to write enter the character. End the double quotation mark, then put semicolon. And now we are going to get the response from the user through keyboard using cin stream extraction operator. And we are going to take this variable ch, which will hold the response entered by the user. Next, we are going to check out the character entered by the user whether it is uppercase or lowercase alphabet here i'm going to write this variable ch he is greater than or equal to in a single pair of quotation mark i'm going to write capital a because it is a character constant any letter digit or any special symbol if it is enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark then it is called a character constant now i'm going to use the logical and operator ch is less than or equal to capital Z in a single pair of quotation mark. If the entered character lies between capital A to capital Z, then it is uppercase letter. Here I'm going to write C out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. I'm going to write it is an uppercase character or letter you can write. Yes, enter double quotation mark and L and then here if this is not true then else part will have to get execute so see out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I'm going to write it is a lowercase character and the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and L and then here I'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace for this main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the character here i'll write enter the character for example i'm going to enter capital h here ch is a variable which is holding the value h okay so that is capital H and now we are going to check this condition if CH is greater than that is capital H is greater than or equal to A because here H is lies in between capital A to capital Z hence it is true so this is true because H capital H whose ASCII value is greater than that of ASCII value of capital A capital A ASCII value is 65 okay H is obviously greater than this so here h is greater than or equal to a yes it is true next ch is less than or equal to z yes so before z h will come hence this is also true true and true is true then this particular statement will get executed what it is going to print it is going to print it is an uppercase character it is an uppercase character this is run one so once again, I'm going to run this program that is called run to once again, it is going to ask the user to enter the character. Okay. Now this time I'm going to enter lowercase letter H. So what will happen? So CH is a variable which is holding a lowercase letter character. Now we are going to check the value stored in CH that is lowercase letter H is greater than or equal to uppercase letter A it is false why because ascii value of a is capital a is 65 lowercase letter a is 97 
97 plus 8 if you add so you are going to get the ascii value of lower case letter h which is obviously uh, greater than that of this capital a and next ch is less than or equal to capital z this h is not less than or equal to capital z hence both of these two conditions are false false and false gives us false value only so whenever we use logical ending true and true always gives us true otherwise it is false in both of these two expressions it is returning false and false the value is false means it is returning to the else part now it is going to print it is a lower case character so it is going to print it is a lower case character now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and press enter now let us run this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the character for example i am going to enter capital h and press enter now it is printing it is an uppercase character let us run this program one more time by pressing control f9 now i am going to enter lower case letter h and press enter now it is printing it is a lower case character i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you